everyone welcome back to colouring care it's that time of the month again the end of april and completed pages time so i'll just dive straight in before my children come making a racket and i'm going to start with this beautiful book new book by hannah carlson tales of the midnight masquerade beautiful beautiful book so i have completed one in here that I was very excited about and it is this one look let's get my text out beautiful so on this one I used a Decoart Americana acrylic background um, I used a teaser pencils I used a couple of Holbein pencils um, I just bought a, a few singles on Jackson's Arts. Um, so the Holbein is the green here. And there is a lovely Holbein soft white pencil that is just the most perfect pencil. And that was um, spoken about on Colour and Chat with Sammy's channel. And I thought, as I can buy the singles, I'll just get one to test it out. It's brilliant. If you're looking for a good white pencil, Holbein soft white pencil, brilliant. Um, so I did use it on here for the cream and then I went over with some Uniball Signa. Um, and I think that's it, yeah. Air teaser and Holbein, a little mix. Uh, Posca pen. I've used some glossy accents on the little Love Art Lolly, as you can see. Oh, and stickles on the sprinkles. Stickles. Stickles everywhere. So that was that one. Really enjoyed doing that one. Beautiful book. The next one is in my Jasmine Beckett Griffith Mermaid's book. Um, this one I did a couple of weeks ago now. If I can find it. And it was this one. Took the tag out again. So this is a soft pastel background. Um, it was all air teaser pencils, this one. Again, I used some Uniball Signo around the pearls in her hair. I used some Pentel Hybrid Jewel gel pens for the bit of glitz that you can see. But I really liked how this one turned out. Really liked the tail. So that's that one. The next ones, these was when I wasn't feeling very motivated. So I just wanted to do a couple with alcohol marker pens. So that was in this book. I always come to this book when I want to use alcohol markers. They're just nice, simple images um, to colour. And it was this one. Let's take the tags out again. This little one, so all Ohuhu oh, oh, alcohol markers, this one. And then I just used a bit of the Pentel Hybrid Dual metallic gel pen to create like a, a little feathery effect on the little ducky, which I quite liked. Really quite sweet. So that was that one. The next one I did in here was another with Ohuhu markers and it was this one and this is the first time I've done a dark skin tone with um, the marker pens and I really liked how that one came out really liked it so again it's all marker pen a tiny bit of Posca pen and a bit of stickles um, or oh, a bit of glossy accents it looks like on the cherry um, yeah, on the cherries, but other than that, that was a nice, easy one. Really like that one. The next one I did was in Mystic Art Mirrors, Galaxy Girls and Zodiac Sign. And it is... Oh, this book is so hard to stay open, it just wants to flip back all the time, so I might have to hold it here. Take the tag out. So this one was a soft pastel background again. Um, 
This is the first time I've tried to create light um, shining off the face. Not sure whether I've quite got that right, but it was a first attempt. So, um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens for the Galaxy background. It's shining a bit. Bit of stickles on the moon. Yeah, I think that was it. Bit of Posca pen. A herbal actually markers or who who markers. Um, the face was Arteza pencils. And that was that one. I've done another one in this book, which is this one. I was really happy with how this one turned out and I did this one as part of the early in April 2020 um, Jackie's hashtag for colouring for UFOs and I was really pleased with this one again it was a soft pastel background our teaser pencils and a tiny bit of metallic jewel pens again for the planets but I was really happy with the shading on a skin it's the it's one of the first times i've done a green skin tone and i really liked how that turned out so that is that one the next one i'm going to show you is my dina dino <laughs> um color me stress free requested a dinosaur image from annie coloring and she very kindly drew this for her and it is now on her Etsy store. So if you want to grab this image, it is beautiful. Um, such any colouring on Etsy and you will be able to find this. Um, so Colour Me Stress Free has done a blue one and it's gorgeous and the colours she's chosen are so bold and it is a stunning, stunning one. So I did him a girlfriend. <laughs> So, I use soft pastel in the backgrounds and on the leaves. I used Neo Colour Twos for the dinosaur. Um, and the pencils were a mixture of Castle Art and Arteza, if I remember correctly. And a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of Posca pen. I just, I just love playing around with that one. It was a fun one to play around with. Really fun one. So that's any colouring on Etsy. The next ones, these was this one was right at the beginning of the month, and this is Mandala's book by Colliar. This one was all Pentel Hybrid Jewel gel pens, packed to the rafters, and then a soft pastel background. And I'll just try and show you. It is beautiful. Beautiful. I may have run out of those pens now. <laughs> oh, I think it was my pink what ran out because I've used it quite a lot. But the way it shines is just beautiful. And that was a really quick and easy one. The next one I'm going to show you is, um, no, we'll show you this one first actually, because you've all seen this one. It's not a surprise to you. This one still needs to be collected, but obviously um, my friend who's coming for it, she does work in the NHS, so she was really, really busy at the moment. But when she's available, she will be coming to to collect this um, and it's going to my local ICU. You've all seen this one by now, but this one's by Rosary Sawanamama on Etsy. Beautiful. I was really proud of this one. Really proud. That was our teaser pencil, Prismacolor pencil, um, bit of Uniball signal. But yeah, there. Glare because of the frame. Beautiful though. Right, next one. I've got two in Maria Troll's Dream Reese. This is a new book for me and I've really, really enjoyed it. 
So I will show you the one that you might have already seen because it's been put on my Etsy. Uh, not my Etsy, oh God, the mind boggles <laughs> on my Instagram. <laughs> oh, I'm losing the plot. And this one was Prismacolor Pencils, the red parts. The little mouse was soft pastels and then I went in with a bit of pencil over the top. Little cutie. Um, soft pastels and a teaser for the leaves. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. I do like the black backgrounds. I just thought it was a really sweet image, a really easy one to do. The next one in this book took me about three days, but I'm really happy with how it, how it turned out. So it's the front page, I think. Here we have it. Take my tag out. I love it. Absolutely love it. Really do. So I'll try and remember for you what I used. This background was actually a castle art pencil, um, which I thought just it was just blending beautifully. It was going on beautifully. Um, that was the same colour as I used for the birds. Um, the rest was a mixture of castle art and a teaser. And I think the colour in the windows here, that might have been one of my Holbeins, one of my new Holbeins, because I've got a few singles. But I just, I really, really enjoyed that one. Beautiful. Turned out beautiful. So that is Dream Reese. Um, next up is a bit of drawing that I've been doing. Um, I've just started drawing um, a couple of pictures a month because I do enjoy it and I really like Camilla Derrico. If you've watched any of my videos by now you'll know I really like her work. So this is a pop manga drawing book and it teaches you step by step. So last, oh this is the first one, this is the beginner one. So this is this. And I'll show you mine. Show you my version. I mean, they don't look exactly the same, but I find that interesting. I find that nice that it's actually unique. Even though everyone's following the same step by step, the outcome is still slightly different because everybody's drawing hand is a different style. And that's, you know, that's beautiful. That's the amazing thing. This is a print I got from her. Can anybody guess what it's called? Luke Skyflyer. Ha! I'm so sad, aren't I? So this was, this was mine. This was mine. I was really proud of that. I've not drawn since high school. And that was, you know, I'm 33 now. So that was a long time ago. And that was my version of that one. And then the next one was this Tina Tentacles. So it's really good how it starts off and shows you step by step, you know, because it doesn't seem as daunting to start with this. Still step by step. And yeah, this was the finished. So mine doesn't look like that, but it's still good. I'll show you. And this is mine. This is my little version. I can hear my daughters arguing. They've done that non-stop. Non-stop these holidays lately. I say holidays, but it's not really, is it? So that was my version of that one. I've really enjoyed doing these. So in next, that's it for this month's video. In next month's video, there will be a couple more drawings again, like this month, as well as my colorings following pages so i hope you enjoyed the um added extra from me showing you them because i've really enjoyed doing it i'll just show you my little swatch book that i got as well this is by um someone on instagram i will pop in the link below if you're interested and the handmade notebooks um it was really sweet i saw this one with the s on and i thought yep i really need a new 
um well just in general i need a swatch book because i don't swatch all my colors out um so i saw the s i thought yes swatch little swatch book so these are handmade hand books uh, notebooks by her and so i've put started i'm not finished yet but these are my castle castle arts i've done all the swatching for in here i've done yeah, more Castle Hearts, the Black Widow Scorpion set and Prismacolor Manga set. So I do need to swatch out all my Arteezers yet and I need to swatch out um, the few single hole binds I've got. Um, so I'll do that at some point. And my notebooks. So it was it's quite sweet. I will drop all the links in if you're interested. But thank you for watching my finishes, finished pages. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And ring the notification bell if you want to receive um, notifications when I drop new content. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. See you again soon. Bye-bye.